make money. We are taught from a very young age that success means making lots of money somehow. No mention of the social currencies is made. Oh sure, things like fame will motivate us, but the money is the final goal. Things like thanks, appreciation and such are downgraded. But we all do things for the social currency we receive. Love, adoration, attention, bragging rights, self-satisfaction, and more. Still, money is the focus for virtually all of us. When we examine the structure of money, it becomes clear that most of us are working jobs for the money to live. Not for the love of the work we do. So most of us are not fulfilling our potential, following our bliss, making our dreams come true. We are merely moving wealth upward to the few at the top. We enrich them while we struggle to make ends meet with the slave tokens we were paid for plugging our energy in. We are their slaves who think we are free. Rather than them providing food, clothing, shelter, they give us tokens and let us worry about these things. A much easier way to have slaves than spending time arranging to provide for them all. On top of all this, the ones who seem to be successes tend to be psychopaths. The ones at the top have use for psychopaths. Psychopaths are willing to do literally anything for the money slash power. They will kill, hurt, rob, thieve, and defraud for the ones at the top. The ones at the top are the recipients of wealth their psychopathic ancestors gathered, who inbred to retain the gene for psychopathy. Their ancestors were in the right place at the right time in history to seize monetary control. This is why most of the ones at the top are from the same group. But it's not the flavor of the psychopathy that matters, but that they are psychopaths. So here we are, slaving away, thinking we're free. And the thing that holds this slave network together is money. The accounting and valuation of the energy we're adding to the enrichment overall of the psychopaths in control. So many are claiming that we just need, quote, real, unquote, tokens to account for our energy added. But right now, the same psychopaths own the bulk of the metals and other things we might use, and no power transference will take place. Should we return to a gold standard? All energy accounting will promote psychopaths. If the accounting is done in trade and barter, they will find ways to monopolize a needed thing. Water or seed or land or any other thing that gives them power over others. Once the accounting moves to anything representational, the psychopaths are off and running. Accessing the tokens is easy. They can and will do anything, ethical or unethical, to get and keep the power over others money provides. They will kill. They will torture. They will steal. They will rob. They will defraud. All for that power that most psychopaths crave. Most of us will stop short of these things, unless our lives immediately depend on breaking the laws of ethics. A starving one will steal food. One in need of shelter may take over an abandoned building, but as a rule, most of us are ethical ones. We may not say nice things, we may have a ghastly attitude, but we will not break those laws. And many of us will offer help, caring and concern when we can afford to. Money creates so many problems. Poverty, oppression, wage debt slavery, disinformation, manipulation, profiteering. Planned obsolescence, which creates the bulk of the waste on our planet, 
intrusion, bribery, setting up blackmail scenarios, paying thugs to threaten, ruin and or kill any who are a threat to the agendas of the psychopaths on top, paying armies to invade, kill, destroy and usurp others' lands. Indeed, money allows a host of unethical behaviors to go unpunished. With enough money, one can buy all sorts of protection. And yet still, I encounter so many who insist that, though money can offer easy access to all these unethical things, we can still use it ethically with no issues. Change the token, go back to barter and all will be just fine. But the fact is that as long as we use money, we will see these issues arise. Psychopaths will find a way to come out on top. And of course, money accounts for our energy added, and so they hide free energy technologies. Free energy equals no need to account for ours. Because money is the only tool they have to widespread power over others. To retain their control, money has to be in use. We can get these technologies out in the open, and then, without the accounting for our energy added in terms of material tokens, goods slash services, or representational, we will find our motivation in the social currencies. We will do things because we care, for the thanks, love, fame, reputation, respect, admiration, lauds, and other positive social currencies. We will cooperate in creating better with the betterment ethic, rather than the slave's creed, the work ethic. We will solve problems ethically, the best way and not the cheapest or most profitable for some, nor left to fester for lack of money. And. We all can live as richly as we choose, pursuing what we love, are fascinated by, have a passion for. When you add to this that our planet has been stolen from us and we made slaves, you might find a cause to stand up for. We should all be living richly. There are millions for each of us in trust, but they hide this and do not tell us what they want for us to get it back. We agree that we don't want what is being built around us, but when I show how we can live richly here, all I get is excuses. I ponder why. Ethically this planet is ours and its wealth belongs to us. I offer a plan for society wherein our planet has been returned. Where all are free to live ethically, sovereign and free all fulfilling their potential. And that means you, your families, everyone you care about. And as for the ones you do not like, you don't have to spend your time, your energy, your social currency with them. You can spend all your time sharing your time, your energy, your social currency with the ones you do like whose familial, interests, spiritual perspective, scientific and or other interests accord with yours. You can specialize in solving problems of a specific kind, if it earns you glory and fame, or if it fascinates you. You can help out anywhere if you care. With all this, why wouldn't we collapse the trust and build this for ourselves, our loved ones, and future generations? Unless you want this dystopian future the psychopaths are hurting us into. Withdraw consent and consent to better. And take membership in the Society of Ethical Sovereigns, SOES. See links in the description. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity. Love, always. 
humanity will win.